as you get older and more sailing and more experience, you kind of know what you need. Right. The Bayfield, I took six months off, stacked up a bunch of money and took like a little sabbatical and went cruising for six months up the Eastern Seaboard. I can't really do that right now. Now I've got a four-year-old son and it's really more like now picking the right golf club for the shot. You know, you don't putt with a driver. Right now, all I can do is, is day sailing weekend, you know, take a boat off for half a day. Uh, just sailing around here. Memorial Day weekend. Hey, let's sail to Ocracoke, spend the weekend. Here. That's that's all I need a boat to do. It doesn't have to have refrigeration. You know, I'm not trying to circumnavigate the globe, so I'm trying to pick the appropriate golf club now. It's pretty Spartan, but it sails great. Easy to get in and off the dock and sail well in light air. Just around here, you've seen people that don't live aboard anymore. Maybe they took a year cruise, maybe even two. And said, okay, got that out of our system. And then they decided, let's get another house again or whatever. And yeah. they find a place like this. Now they have a blue water sailboat that they never go anywhere on. And then no. they just rot. They don't know at the time that we're not going to cruise like that anymore. And they've put a lot into it. And, you know, maybe spent two years on it. Really feel like it's part of the boat's part of their family. Hard to say goodbye. But, yeah, yeah, hard to say goodbye. So it's a shame because then you end up with these. But they're so big. Um, you know, boats like West Sail 42. <laughs> hey, I'm going so, sailing. I know, you look <laughs> uh, but the folks that are obviously, you know, hey, we kind of did that. You know, now every once in a while we, we take a two week trip to the Bahamas and back. You know, um, they're not world cruising anymore. They got a world cruising boat. And then they don't use it because they could look, oh, honey, it's a gorgeous afternoon. We should go for a sail. And they look out their living room window down to the dock where their boat is. There's lichen hanging off the halyards. It's tied up with 18 spring lines, two shore power cords, and the guy looks out and goes, oh God, it's going to take me an hour just to get the boat ready to go for a sail. So they go, you know, honey, let's, well, maybe we'll just go to the pool today or you know, take the car to the beach, you know. And by the time they realize that we're really not using this big, you know, blue water heavy displacement boat as a day sailor, by the time they come to grips with that, now it's been three, five, ten years, and they're just doing the minimum maintenance because they're not really using it. And now they go, you know what, we should just sell this thing, honey. They contact the broker, and the broker's going, this thing is in really rough shape. Yeah. And then they have it surveyed. They go, oh, wow, you got blisters on the bottom. They do a rig survey. You know, you know these swages are cracked. What? You know, they haven't really left the just dock. From, just from sitting to, there. Just from sitting and not being used. And um, at that point, you need to get rid of this boat. Yeah. You know? Or get something like a J35. Like what you've got. Uh, yeah, get that's get not... something a little more suited to what you're doing. Get something that you can get on and off the dock. Yep. I'm well, to the point now where I'd sail my boat to Ocracoke, yeah. tie it up, and we'd stay at a bed and breakfast. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, walk around town and that sort of thing, come back down. We wouldn't even sleep on the boat. I guess having a boat that's just really overbuilt for going offshore and built up to be a home, it's just... It's sad if, uh, if if the boat's not actually used for that. Yeah. It's just sitting at the dock. It's such a waste. Yeah. Uh, and that, and it's, that's, it's an awesome design. Yeah. You know, these, these heavy boats for, for doing that mission. If you're yep. not doing that mission, it's really more boat than you need. Yeah. A lot of people say, well, I'm eventually going to do that, so we'll get this big boat now. We'll use it as a day sailor, weekender, and then eventually a few years, why not? Well, in the meantime, you've got this big, heavy double-ender for example, that that you end up not day sailing because it's too much work. Yeah. It shouldn't yeah. be that much work. <laughs>